and welcome back, we back to another episode of Goose Talks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy. We are so happy to have you guys back for another episode, as always. Always. If you are new here, always. drop a like. Subscribe if you are new. We don't want you missing a new video. Thank you for all the support recently on the clips. I just want to say, again, we're back for another episode, and I have to just address it. First of all, thank you for 6K. That's crazy. That is absolutely That's wild. The clips have been performing well. The videos are doing greater than ever. Mm-hmm. Every month is like becoming the best month ever. That's time. crazy, man. I see, I see six k, and it's like equivalent to having like six million, like like another oh, million. Yeah. You know, oh, like, yeah, yeah. like like having yeah, another yeah. thousand new subscribers. I'm like, dude, that's another mil. Yeah, it's another million subscribers. Yeah, right. That's uh, like it's like a thousand more people yeah. have uh, chosen to press the subscribe button. That's and join crazy, us dude. And watch that's our so video. crazy to think about. You know, like a thousand it's, people. It's man. crazy how it works because you just. The, the more you just pump out the content, right? Mm-hmm. The more just people can find stuff that you've posted exactly. before. If they like it from earlier, they're going to subscribe to you from earlier. It's yeah, the same yeah. stuff. I just want to say, again, I'm just, again, starting the camera, rolling it up. <laughs> I'm so happy, bro. I feel so yes. happy just to be back again, thinking about filming again. I'm so happy to course, be back. Man. So thank you yeah. to everyone that actually watches this channel, that comments, likes, and supports. Yeah. We actually... Honestly, we, we see the growth, and we, we appreciate just keep you guys so much, it. and it keeps us yeah. going. And we see those, we see those comments every time. Man. Yeah, it's sick, dude. Even even getting those first yeah. comments is like, it's like, yeah, yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> it's, yeah. you know, it's sick. We Straight appreciate up. you guys Thank so you guys. much, man. We read all the comments. We yeah. we appreciate every single one of you. Um, well, we we were saying, okay, golfing. We were gonna let's we were go talk- golfing. Let's go. <laughs> let's go golfing. Let's okay. go golfing. We were talking about bring golfing out the here. lobster. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever disrespect yourself like that. Bring out the whole ocean. Bring out the ocean. Bro needs the whole, like, seafood platter. (laughs) No, no. Golfing, we were saying how it's just, like, one of the top, like, networking it is, man. It is, man. It's like, hey, you got a tea time at, like, like 12 12 o'clock. Tea time at 2? I'm going in. I'm grabbing lunch if I'm hungry. Oh, dude, we're grabbing lunch. First of all, golf clubs have banger food. Banger service, usually. It's usually old rich men. So, you know, they tip in the (laughs) waitresses nice and everything with it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I'm doing that, and I'm networking. I'm going to go meet some old guys. Doing the most. I'm going to make some business contacts yeah, with course, these guys. Course, I'm going to talk to them. I've never been golfing in my life. No? I've never been golfing one Dude. day in my single life. But that is exactly what I'd be doing. It's <laughs> sick, man. Golfing? Yeah. Dude, I used to see golfing <laughs> as when I did it in high school. I haven't golfed in like, let's, I want to say two or three years. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. I, I used to golf a lot when I worked on a golf course. Um, my, last time I golf was like we golf. <laughs> so that was like my top favorite dude have you been to the driving range no I have not no, no. Okay. I've swung though like, oh yeah, yeah like Jolie's got some clubs and I'd be right. like I'd be swinging them you know I'd be practicing so, my tee like my swing basically man like yeah I haven't I haven't golfed in, in three years man I love how my mindset has changed though mm-hmm. I used to see golfing as like a way to just drink and just be outside and drink. Right. 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 right? I was right. like, oh, let's, let's go just, golfing. Let's go golfing. Right. Right. We, we, we would hide the, like, we put the like, drinks in the golf bags exactly. and whatever, like club bags. We just Fill go like a water and, bottle, like, like a shotgun you know. every, like, every hole and whatever. Dude, it was terrible, <laughs> man. It was bad. Uh, you, we get, it was, it was blaring heat and we're drinking. Right. <laughs> so, you know, at this point, it's, 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 it's three, Yo, 3 p.m. Pass out. 3 p.m. in the day. And we're we're about to like fall over. And yeah, like, that's like, golf for you. That's, that's golfing, the one man. sport Let's that go you golfing. can just do that pretty much. What other sport are you just drinking like but that? I, I take on a whole different approach now. To uh, golfing, I honestly want to go golfing just to be like as an excuse to go outside and to mm. be with people. And it's like a nice way to pass by time while being outside at the same time. You know, fair enough. You're yeah. you're also moving your body. You're, you're getting good sun. You're getting good exercise. You're good activity. Feet. So you're on your feet, First of all, man. you're already... Dude, you know, I mean... Already are we on our cardio? feet, man? Or are we on the carts? You know, we're... we're well, I mean... I'm, I'm yeah, on the yeah. carts. Yeah. I'm ripping around on the carts. Duty guy? Are you like the oh, bag yeah. duty guy? Or are you like just... Mm-hmm. You got you got a bag guy? I, I don't have a bag myself, no. man. Dude, they're expensive. However... Oh, what, like the one that holds your clubs, right? And you put them in like separately. Oh, well, yeah, you need those. Yeah. You need... Yeah. Like that. that's how your clubs come. Yeah. Uh, no, there's the trolleys. There's okay. a trolley that you okay. put your bags on. You can like roll it around. But man, I'm I'm we're with the boys. You're ripping out on the cart, man. That's, that's yeah, one the, of the funnest. The cart's ways. the best part. The Literally, dude. That's how I see of, it too. Of golfing. I don't have I don't have clubs. No. No, the boys have clubs and they're generous enough to let me use to borrow them when I when when we go out. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. they're 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 fairly expensive, you guys man. Just like trade. Pretty like, well. So, like one guy will swing and he'll okay. Pretty well. Um, I mean, you're not you're not swinging at the same time. You know, like no, no, you're no, taking no, of turns course, swinging. Yeah, yeah. 
Josh got a new pair of club, not new. They're used. A used pair of clubs for like one fifty. Mm-hmm. That's that? two sock. That is driver iron. A chip, couple, a couple um, irons. Um, what's yeah. the what's the like when you're like just in the in the you're right beside the hole basically. Oh, it's that's a putter. One you putter. The putter. You need to get the putter, putter. The wood. Dude, let's go talk to. Let's me. go golfing. Let's go golfing, man. Talk um, to me. I'm looking forward to go golfing this summer. We, now. my man, like he said that 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 uh, the the golf bla- mm. the clubs, yeah, probably would have cost him four hundred dollars, four hundred dollars for the full set. For the full set, wow, okay. But but it was like second hand, so it was like one fifty. Right, I Dude, thought they'd be like more too. To be honest, like, sock sock. No, those are cheap. No, okay. Sam's is like two k. That's crazy. Sam's brother. like That's reaching two k on his 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 driver alone. He said was like six hundred. Yeah. Like like the like these clubs because like like tailor made dude like you know yeah. they're expensive. Like man. we're talking like titanium carbon dude. fiber. <laughs> yeah. Mid air bend. Sometimes I'm like, scared to hit because like when we went we went to the driving range and like sounds like yo you gotta try out my driver. Significant difference first really? of all like compared. You can to bring like, your own stuff here at the like driving range. You can you bring have, your own yeah, clubs. Yeah. yeah. Or you can rent. You can rent. Yeah. But it's expensive. But like. What it was it like hourly? Uh, no, until you're done. Oh, okay. Or or maybe hourly. I've never rented at the driving range. No, okay. Yeah, so but you know it's significant difference. But dude, I'm scared. I'm scared to like use it too hard because I'm like, oh, dude, what if I like hit the ground too hard and like falls off? Dude, you know, I'm like, dude, or like just borrowing someone else's club. Yeah, like, no, in general, you, like, I'm scared. Scratch the ground. Like, I'm not that pro. Like, I'm a well, newbie. you're on grass, you know, bro. Yeah, you're on the grass. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, or like just chipping like the grass really hard with it just damaging the club in yeah. general you know yeah well dude I'm that's like a newbie. The my first time i'm not i might not even hit the club Bro, that's the divots man this divots you make the little yeah things that, that's what I, I used to do at the golf uh yeah uh when i was maintenance at a golf course i'd go around with like a mixture of like sand oh, really and dirt, you, you be the guy and, fixing that and I, I i was that guy yeah. i was that guy and i'd like pour it in and like <laughs> <laughs> dude not gonna lie sickest gig because i was with jordan yeah and it was like it was just like we were just ripping around in the gators like the two uh, uh side by sides and like the uh the the carts and just mm-hmm. like going like felt like we're superheroes yeah but i work for the city now so that's a lot better, you ever but. you ever did the one where you just like like the hole in the grass like you make the hole they have like that one oh machine. So no, satisfying. No, no, no i always see it uh jordan did that Damn, jordan bro, i was also on the divots like movement he was making the holes. Yeah. yeah, he was making the holes. So I was moving nice. the divots. So nice. Um, it was fun, man. Yeah. No, it was. It was. A, it's a fun. It's a fun sport just to get out and have some fun with your mm-hmm. boys. Quick thank you to the sponsor of this video. Express VPN is one of the world's largest premium VPN service providers, founded in 2009. Express VPN is trusted by millions of users across 94 countries. Now, customer satisfaction is a priority. Mayo, 24-7 live chat support, 30-day money-back guarantee when you download ExpressVPN. Safe and private data everywhere you go. Let me see. One more time. One more time. Safe and private private data data. everywhere Everywhere. you go, okay? I'll say it like that. From your favorite TV shows on Netflix all the way to your favorite podcasts. ExpressVPN gives you unrestricted access Mm. to all parts of the internet. ExpressVPN works on all devices uh, like Apple TV, PlayStation, Xbox and smart TVs that cannot run any VPNs. No. Connect five devices simultaneously with one subscription. That's my whole household, That's baby. That's whole fan, bro. ExpressVPN lets you securely access and enjoy content on any network, even in schools and offices. Securely. You're getting past the Wi-Fi mm, block Your FBI guy isn't, isn't checking on you. No, the FBI ain't on you. <laughs> with the link that's on the screen right now and the link that's in the description... You can get ExpressVPN for yourself today. Yes, sir. With the link that's on the screen right now and the link that's in the description, you can get ExpressVPN for yourself today. Back into the show. Okay, we're back. We're back. What were we saying? We were you had Golfing. you said you had some uh you oh no, you showed me a picture of uh Plato. Plato Oh no, that was Socrates. Socrates. So man, he was okay. a goofy looking man. Goofy looking man. Very goofy looking man. He was man. known for his bad hygiene. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's, so- that's wild fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, yeah, he's a big philosopher back in the, uh, oh, dude. We'll keep it in a fun way. Keep it in a fun way. BC, okay. This guy stunk. Yeah. This guy stunk. stunk. He stunk. But his mindset on things was, like, elite. Yes. He did not really care. He was very easygoing. He was humorous. He was a funny guy. That's great. Yeah, man, he was easygoing, um, and he was executed. I'll be cracking some jokes. He was executed. Oh, he got killed? Yes. Okay. You know why? the execution? Um... I don't. I don't necessarily know how he got executed. Okay, but he got murdered. But he got. He, he didn't like. I mean, he got executed. Yeah, I guess he got murdered. But it wasn't like. Yeah. It wasn't but he got like. Killed. He, he, he didn't. No one got arrested. Okay. He got executed by the public. Like, by the, the ops came after him. 
<laughs> the ops, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Essentially, because they, uh, they, 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 he was, um, what's the word when he, he was, when when you're like on trial, like he was on trial for probation. No, no, he was on trial for, uh, in, um, infecting, not infect, like, like mentally infecting young people. Oh, like influencing? Was, influencing. Influencing. Yeah, oh, he was okay. he was known yeah. as a bad influencer. Okay, okay. Um, back then there was these things <clears throat> called the sophists. <clears throat> right. And they were good argue arguers. Mm. Like they were good at arguing with people. And honestly, like back then you need to really, because you couldn't really prove evidence or anything. So you had to be able to argue well and like talk well. He was one of those guys. He didn't consider himself a sophist, but others considered him a sophist. Mm-hmm. He went around teaching younger younger generation people about how to live life more better, more essentially his the like the virtuous life was starting from him. He was this the Socratic era started from him. So then he got um, he taught Plato, which is also a very well renowned uh, f- philosophist and a scientist. Um, he was big on math and and all that. So why I love Plato is because he taught Aristotle, okay. and Plato has a book called The Republic. I just picked it up. Uh, a couple a couple days ago, and I'm like, I can't wait to read it. You, okay, you haven't started it yet? I haven't started no. it yet. Oh, also, another th- fact about uh, Socrates, yeah. he never wrote down any of his things, any of his teachings. He didn't believe in writing down his thoughts. He did not. He only said that he only cared about talking with people. He only okay. cared about communicating with people. Wow, bro. He would, bro, it really was the thinker. The thinker, man. He bro. would go, man, he would go around and just see someone just like chilling or whatever and he go and start talking to them and talk about talk to him about his thoughts yeah okay that's, yeah what the heck weird bro? right I don't, I don't weird. Like, just like i don't even know how to picture that and he stunk man he didn't wear <laughs> shoes what he didn't wear shoes he didn't bro. bathe he didn't bathe bro he didn't do anything and back then you you know people bathing, didn't bathe back then bathing was uh tougher but in the victorian era bro, you know how nasty even, they were oh, in the victorian era <laughs> he didn't touch soap pretty well you know he was very scruffy, bearded, bald. He was a, he was an unattractive man. So honestly, that didn't help him either. <laughs> but yeah. But he was a very smart man. Okay. Uh, then comes Plato. Plato, his student. Plato wrote down all of Socrates' uh, thoughts. Teachings, yeah. Teachings, yeah. He wrote down. That's the only thing we can get. That's the only thing we can find out about yeah. Socrates. We through, through his through, through the bro, Plato through, through his the bro student. himself. Honestly, I didn't look much on Plato. I did. I did hear listen to a uh, um, a podcast on Plato. Uh, mm-hmm. he's sick too. He's mm-hmm. he 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 also influenced a lot of people. My main my main person, my main boy. Shout out Aristotle. Hey, Aristotle is the my my favorite philosopher. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm reading I'm reading Meditations by Marcus Aurelius now. I finished Ego as the Enemy. Amazing book. Yeah, we talked about that in one of the episodes. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, Aristotle, I haven't started reading it yet. And I listened to a couple podcasts on him. Bro, changed the whole way of like living life mm. even the guy was like the guy talking about him on the podcast he's like take this as like uh, a way of like taking advice yeah like he's like he had he lived virtuously he bro but he there was some controversial thoughts mm. about him he believed in slavery unfortunately and he he believed that women were inferior to men but this is where I'm not defending him in any way, uh-huh. but his reasons because of this, I, uh, there was no really, honestly, slavery's messed up anyway. Like, oh, I see. Uh, th- there's no, in that era. Women were inferior to men back in the day, 100%. Because that's Absolutely. the way they thought. Absolutely. That's right? how it was back in the day. Um, he, but this was his reason. Aristotle was a biologist. Okay. He looked at physicalities of people. So, and of animals, every kind of animal. So like, obviously there was, differences between male and female he thought that females were just to bear children Mm. males were the he thought that like our things you know this is like a little yeah our things like our um uh, like sperm whatever was the main host the 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 egg was just what the sperm would go to and i remember i remember learning this i remember learning this in school bro they said something about this in school. so aristotle about aristotle's teachings like that pretty well right so and then that's why he believed that women were inferior because they were just a vessel to hold the child obviously we've grown out of that this was back in the bc like before christ era controversy saying stuff crazy right pros cancel they cancel aristotle (laughs) take it as you will he he may have thought that, but during that time, during that era, that was right. that was how it was, right. right? He may have taught that, but he also taught a lot of good things, man. 
he thought of the five ways of wealth. So virtue, he brought in, brought in virtue ethics. Right. And he said that uh, that's measured through external and um, external like externalities. So that's like the five types of wealth. And you might think money, whatever it, that wasn't it. Money was not his way of like living a happy life. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was saying happiness depends on wealth. And those wealth was uh, uh, being able to eat, uh, sleep, exercise, um, oh, dude, and drink water, and then probably I was gonna say drink water, drink one of them. shelter, water. and shelter, shelter, yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no 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 no, it wasn't water. It was like eat, eat and drink, uh, clothes. Did I say mm-hmm. clothes? No. Okay, eat, drink, clothes, um, shelter, shelter, uh, exercise, exercise, family. No water, water, eat, clothes. Man, I'm getting all mixed up. Yeah. Regardless, yeah, yeah. He had. He's saying if you have all of those, those are your external wealths, and that if you have all of those, you should be a happy person. Yeah. But happiness also is subjective. So depending on how you see happiness, happiness is so different to every single it is. person, bro. It is. But those were the one thing that is objectively what Part humans of need, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So he d- he brought in that. He also brought in like living a very vir- vir- virtuous life of like uh, being honest. Uh, there was the virtues and the vices. The vices. Mm-hmm. So he's like, you you can't let your vices take over you, take control of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you need to learn the temperance. Uh, so temperance is essentially keeping a limit. As like you don't overindulge, right? Right. Like you don't do too much yeah, of one thing. You absolutely. don't eat too much. You don't drink too much. For no need. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you don't need it. Yeah. yeah. Um, he, he brought in a lot of things, but honestly, that would take a while for me to like, keep going about it mm-hmm. regardless, man. Like these people, I've only, I'm I'll bring this up because like, I've been really into philosophy lately. Like create, I don't know what it is. I don't know. You, you ever have that happen to you where you're just like really into something for dude. A- I was like, I was like that for a little bit like that for a little bit. I was really into like, uh, I was like, Oh dude, Albert and I said like some of his theories. Oh man. Dude, the theory of relativity. Everything is relative. Yeah, that one. That one was like crazy. Like just the theory of relativity yeah, itself. Yeah. I said like everything is a force upon itself. You know, everything it needs it's. In, everything is in motion with itself, and it mm-hmm. needs it to make the one thing. That's crazy. Like to like be able to think about that is just crazy to me. What was I getting? What was I going to say? Literally a second ago. Oh yeah, dude. Th- there was this like, I don't mean like completely switch topics over, but there was this Kanye clip. I of, keep going, man. If it yeah, was okay. Yo, there was this Kanye clip of him just out. You know, not that we like talk about like the media stuff like that, but you know, it's we can always once in a while. Kanye, bro, there was a clip of him out and he was just getting ice cream, but he looked so different. People were saying he had like massive just shoulders. Living his life. Yeah, he had like massive shoulders and he was with like Bianca? this other girl. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, his Bianca, new girl. Thank you. Thank you for the name. Yeah. He was getting ice cream and they were like, yeah, he's got cloned. He's cloned. It's, he's cloned. <laughs> like, that's not. Dude, no. That's not the real Kanye. But like, first of all, that isn't. I don't even think that's Kanye. Can I check it out? Yeah, look it up. Look at this clip real quick. Just, just go on I need, Safari I need, I need some kind of... and look up Kanye new ice cream shop or something like that. Kanye. Ice so cream. he has massive shoulders in this clip, and he's probably just wearing shoulder pads. In my opinion, he's wearing shoulder pads. You, he always be wearing. Why would the he be? Yeah, he probably, he's the type to wear that underneath. He's probably the he type to do that just to do that just to troll the media a little bit. You know what I'm trying to say? People are going crazy like he's cloned. He's cloned. Man. The, 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 and like, oh, there's a, is, and like this is. whole like and he's this, with Bianca, yeah, yeah. And this whole like Hollywood conspiracy theory, right? Of how they're like so, so they tell they sell their souls to the devil, right? Right. Listen, bro. in order to believe in that, in order to believe in selling your soul and the devil, you gotta believe in the devil. You must believe in the devil, and you guess what? You must believe in God. Or so, he's wearing a police shirt. Yeah, he's wearing like a police a German Swedish or something like that police police shirt. Those look like. Oh, he, he shaved his eyebrows. Whatever, who, who where, bro, whatever. Those are shoulder on. pads, bro. Shoulder pads underneath his shirt. Yeah, so pads. he's not cloned. But listen to what I'm trying to say here, bro. If in order to believe in that cloning mm-hmm. stuff and right. believe in selling your soul, you must believe in, you know, God or you must believe in Jesus Christ God. and the devil. You must believe in heaven yeah. and hell. Exactly. You must believe in heaven and hell. So for me, I like I don't believe in that. Let's say, for mm-hmm. example, mm-hmm. arson. Let's say arson's a full atheist. <clears throat> so to arson. Like Hollywood is just nothing to him. Not, not not like in the sense of like it should be, but like okay. in the sense of like it's not like the objective theory, the media's theory. Yeah, the the media's ideology. You're kind of, of foolish to think that people sell their souls. That that doesn't exist, man. 
Yeah. That doesn't exist. I don't believe in that yeah. in that kind of conspiracy because You're foolish to, and I believe in a lot of conspiracies. Uh, me no, too. I don't. Uh, conspiracy like Satan, theories, like Satan parties and shit, like Hollywood Satan they, parties and shit. Do you know what? Why people do that? It's to make themselves feel better about themselves. Yeah, you know, you, it's because tension, like it could, like in my opinion, it's it's it's. They're like, I couldn't, I couldn't get to that, so I had to. So they probably had to do some sort of weird magical whatever, whatever, right? To but like, get what, to that. No, in no way they're doing that. Like, no, they're not. Man, yeah, no. that's what I'm saying. So like. Just, so it, are we it, saying it random YouTubers? It never made sense to me. Are we saying random YouTubers like let's say Cody Ko sold his soul to the devil? No, man, yeah. bro, just it's just it spews out uh, creative content. That's what I'm saying. Um, do they know how? <laughs> like, yeah. think about it. Do they know how the entertainment business works? Neither do I. Neither do yeah. you. We're ignorant. I'm sure the entertainment it. business is not like okay. Let's pick up like this mogul image guy, and let's in case Vogel? something. Sure, like, in case Sorry, something... Fogel? Fogel, yeah, Fogel the mogul. Like, in case something happens to this guy, we'll just clone him, okay. and we'll just push out another version of him to the media so they can come take pictures of this guy. That's not what they're doing. You're telling me they just made another Kanye, and they're yeah, like, yeah, let's yeah. send him out with Bianca to this ice cream shop just to, like, get what? some more pics out that look at Kanye. You tell me that's what they're doing? No, you know, They're cloning rappers? Who's saying that? Bro, there's... <laughs> Who's saying that? Bro, it's all these, like, conspiracies on TikTok and, like, YouTube and oh shit. Like, Orlando God, Brown, man. like, that guy no. from... Way. The guy from That's So Raven, he's exposed. He's saying like they Corey? do this. No, not Corey. Orlando Blue, or, that other guy, or Brown. Or Orlando he went to Brown. jail. He yeah, went to dude. prison or something. Yeah, yeah. That guy's whatever he's that guy says is... or something, bro. I don't yeah, know what he, he is, man. did. Yeah. No, dude. He he, uh, he also was sexually harassing Raven on the show. And no, stuff. I, I looked into it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. No, and he said that they did did stuff, but they didn't. Like like. He was just sexually harassing. I always hear like how those like Disney yeah, man, it's show. Me. See, that's like, the thing, bro. In the background, do you think these kids sold their soul? No, they were just they were first of all exploited. These first of all, they like, were in the industry from like the age of ten. Yeah, and that dude, like, do you think that's healthy for them? No, no. man. Like, not for it, the mind, at least. I think, I think, dude, you should have your own choices. Like when you're eighteen, like they should be able to go to school. They should be able to yeah. These live kids, a life, like, these man. kids had to like go to school and then I have, guess like, acting. in. In theory, in theory, they technically sold their soul to the devil. In theory. Because, like, think about they it They gave like up this. their life. They basically gave up their life exactly, to work every day, right? Exactly. But, no, they're giving up their life for fame and fortune. That's the whole conceptual idea of selling your soul to the like, devil some of them for didn't fame even get and fortune. Fame. Some people, like, let's say sell your soul, but you don't get fame necessarily. You just Those get... Guys, okay, then they didn't sell You get a soul. fortune, right? You Let's say you get a fortune... <laughs> So are, do we all sell our souls to the devil as soon as we get a job? We just no. Our life is just given up to. No, because nah, they're exploiting like that, themselves. Yeah, they're exploiting themselves. They're putting That's themselves out there and doing that kind of stuff. Ultimately, mm-hmm. they're. I don't know how other people think. I don't know how other people. View. The contracts they're signing, you know, are probably like yeah, exactly your kid right. Can their do contracts they're is, signing. We're gonna do this to your kid, like stuff like that. And you then, know, like, where did this idea come from? Even so, one person was to have said selling it. your soul in like yeah. Hollywood. The big one Hollywood person thing? was to have. It's said always it, right? been around, bro. It's just yeah. But where did these Jackson? Where do these thoughts come from? Where do these ideas come from? They come oh, okay. from one person, right? One person says it to another person. Another person says it to another person, so and it's it starts media outspread. Media outspread. So like. Uh, what what's the rumor? Rumor outspread. Like, yeah, yeah. Just be dumb rumors. So who who's coming up with this kind of ideas? You know. Yeah. Um. People who've be, been in the industry and. Someone maybe. might have said it's like telephone. It's like playing the game telephone. Yeah. Someone might have said something completely different, and then someone says something else. Someone says something else, and then and it, it, it comes. You to can't this, believe anything. You honestly. can't on media, especially on hundred percent. I don't believe you anything, cannot. No. You do not know what is real and what yeah. is not. You can't tell the difference between AI and like real. Stuff now. I'm gonna say this right now, and I'm, I'm gonna get like hated on. But like my fate, I I don't use Instagram. I use whenever I want like some quick entertainment. If I'm not on YouTube, if I'm like ch- waiting for someone or something, I flip on like Reddit. I say this all all the time. Yeah, you do. You know why? Because if I see something, I'm like, dude, this is this is stupid. I go to the comments. There's like, usually a source there. Okay, I was, I was someone, just someone is- puts in a source, and then like, you can go and like read on it. Reddit's more raw. It's more it real. Is, so it's it just is. it is. That's why. It's not as, yeah. like, media. Like, no one's posting pictures of them on, it's on a beach. Fake. It's less fake. More it's more like you can just news. post whatever you want. Yeah. And what, <laughs> another good thing about it is that you can control what you see, right? Like, yeah. you can f- you can sub to a couple Reddits, uh, subreddits, and then mm-hmm. and then you can s- control what you see. It's not like TikTok Facts. where they throw in a Facts. random... You, you can, like, follow accounts, basically, right? Exactly, right? Yeah. So, I like using that as a form of media entertainment. Yeah. Uh, I stay away from Twitter. I don't have Twitter. I don't have TikTok. I, uh... 
I, I go on Instagram once in a while to post like you know goose talks uh, Facts. stuff. Facts. I try to stay away from. Shout out! Thank you, thank you all the supporters um, out there. Yes, man. Yeah, we. Uh, I see the likes and stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think you sell your soul just for fame? No, and no, oh, absolutely okay, good, no. Good, I don't. Man. Well, I don't believe in that. That's what I'm saying. In order for me to believe in selling my soul, I have to believe in the devil. Uh, okay, I have to yeah. believe in heaven, right? And hell after That's death, which is I don't. I don't believe in a heaven. And hell after death. You know what is interesting. You know what's interesting? Your way of thought and my way of thought of why we why we disagree with that idea. Because oh, you're, I don't, I don't necessarily disagree because I don't believe in God or heaven and hell. I don't disagree because I don't think it's a real thing. <laughs> I don't think like oh it's not okay even, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's not using. But a real I'm saying thing like your me, mind you know? immediately goes yeah. there, but my mm-hmm. mind immediately went to the idea that like people are just hateful and like like some people just like see that other people are, are succeeding and they're like oh man like they must, be, so, they must be doing some something to get yeah. like this, this yeah let me show you we do this ritual every saturday night yeah it's and honestly thing, a bro, lot if of people... you think about it every oh, no, I'm not, i don't want to get into it no i can't i was gonna bring up like religion stuff i can't i'm not gonna do that no nah, religion <laughs> we say from away see manifestation and stuff we, we, we still believe in some sort of universe right Right. Like we talk about manifestation a lot, law of attraction. We're not talking about a certain god. We're not talking about a certain being. We're talking about the universe as a whole that controls pronoia, right? Paranoia. Pronoia. Oh, pronoia, right. Right, the universe. The, the counter. Exactly, the universe <laughs> does things for you. Shit. Doesn't do it against you. There's people that depends. don't believe that. Well, but there's people that don't believe. Because they're paranoid, subconsciously. They believe that the world is working against them. Mm. You know, facts. There, I've met people uh, like that throughout my life. And if you, if you're a negative person, you're only gonna attract negativity. I was talking to Andre about this the other works. day. Speaking of Andre, That's how it works. Uh, he was on our podcast the other day. We we talked about books and stuff. Not the other day. Sorry. Yeah, well, I was like, what? The other Not day? The other day, like last Maybe year? Maybe like the other last year? <laughs> the other last year? <laughs> the other last year? Yeah, facts. He was on our. He was on a. He was on a episode. Um, read, uh, read. So love and invest, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that was good. That was a Speaking of, very underrated oh, episode. Dude, I'd say Arson was love too. too. He held the sign up. <laughs> dude, there were some there were some philosophers who hated love. Really? Anyway, I'm we'll not gonna get, get into that. Into that. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to get into two books because like um uh, that that Andre recommended. Okay. And I'm sorry. The only reason I brought up Andre is because he just he just came back on Thursday. Came right. came back to Calgary. Just hanging out. And he he uh, one of our boys. Yeah, he's one of our boys. And we talk a lot about the stuff that we talk about. Right. Right. We talk about a lot about stuff. And he mentioned two books that I think you would like. Okay. Uh, maybe you guys would like to. I'm gonna listen like to it. them. I like They're it. Pretty sick. Uh, there's I'm the I'm hearing three percent man. <clears throat> the what? Three percent man. Three percent man. Three. Three. Oh. Three percent okay, man. I haven't heard that. And there's the richest man in Babylon. Oh, he mentioned that last time too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He mentioned that last time too. I read like a summary on that. Yeah. 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 So it's like a story, basically, during the Babylonian era, mm-hmm. about how this guy became so rich. How he became like. Uh, leader, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna listen to the audiobook of it. Uh, yeah. I don't want to get into it. Basically, one of the main things he said that uh, said that you should always do is to save ten percent of your paycheck mm-hmm. every single time. Save that for your keeping. Absolutely. Save that to invest. Absolutely. Right, and then uh, the rest of your paycheck goes into loans, debts, uh, essentials, and stuff like that. Then investing. you investing. Yeah, investing. Thirty percent investing. No, no, no. Yeah. You in, you 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 invest the ten percent. Oh, okay. You invest ten okay. percent. I thought ten percent was save, and then what? I Three? thought ten. No, ten. Ten percent. I thought ten percent was save. Thirty percent invest, twenty percent miscellaneous, ten fifteen percent. I don't know urgent. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I don't know. He's, I don't know. Andre, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I regardless, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Basically, the the yeah. The overview of it is like the main thing is save that ten percent. Right. You know, like I think a lot of people like get that paycheck immediately and go splurge. Facts. No, absolutely. Save. Put. Open a big account. Put in like. A certain amount in an yeah. investing account. You should have. You, you. It'd be good. It'd be good to have like an account where you don't even like. You kind of forget you have money in there. We could just like exactly. Bro. You just throw the money in there. You didn't realize it's in there. Yeah. Open it like a year later. You like whoa. I've been putting That's that's the ten percent yeah, of your yeah, paycheck yeah. every time. It is, man. That's what I had. You know, I had I had um, two years ago I was doing that where like I had it. I don't know. I still have that. I still have that where every week. So like every like well, I get my paycheck every two weeks. But like every week, a certain amount of money just gets deposited automatically into my savings. I have a hundred dollars every month. I have to do it myself, yeah. So it does it for me. Yeah, man. I've been I've been saving a hundred dollars yeah. every month since I was like sixteen mm-hmm. in the savings account. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It was, and if you think about it, put it in perspective. Uh, I was sixteen. I'm turning twenty-two every month. 
uh, that's a, uh, a year would be a hundred, a uh, thousand two hundred dollars. Yeah, but like forty eight hundred roughly. Okay, forty eight. No, sixty. Yeah, 60, six four sixty. Something uh, like what's what's twelve times six? Seventy two. Seventy two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Not bad. So I'm saying, man, it's like seventeen hundred, and that that's only gonna increase because like I'm probably gonna open up another account now, um, and and put in. Uh, ten percent of my uh, uh, paycheck every. Then again, I don't have a, like a full time job though. Mm. I'm seasonal, man. Uh, yeah, that's the city seasonal. City I'm seasonal. Se- yeah. City yeah, seasonal. Yeah, yeah. So when I'm done, man, like I go back to school. What am I gonna, you know? Yeah. So it's. I'm definitely gonna do it in the meantime though. Mm-hmm. Until then, and then like when I do get a full time job, I'll go. I'll go into it. Back into it. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. man. Okay, well, uh, I think that's a perfect way to close off this it is, episode. Man. Save your money. Another, yeah, another banger episode as always. If you stayed all the way to the back, make sure to like and subscribe. We love you guys as always. Always. Thank you. Thank you again for 6,000. Yes. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep posting. Consistency is key. We're coming in. We're, we're coming, coming in. We're, we're com- just growing in. We're coming in. Yeah, we are. We are. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.